Hey guys, I am Rahim, but welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button because I share property investment tips, personal development, and how you can gain financial freedom by making your money work a lot, lot harder for you instead of you working for it. In today's video, we are diving into a topic very close to my heart. This is about balancing wealth building whilst you're enjoying your life as well. So stick around if you'd like to know how to create financial freedom whilst also having a good comfortable life. Before we get going, if you like this video, hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. So let's get to it. Look, it is very important to enjoy life while securing financial freedom because in order for you to enjoy your financial freedom, you have to have life, okay? But if you're about to start working on your financial freedom, if you're, if you're about to start um, executing your dreams, at that point, you may be working long, long hours, you may be doing ridiculous things, and you may be spending lots of time doing things that you really um, know that would help you in the future. Because at that time, you are visionary, you're working ridiculously long hours, you're working, connecting with different, different people, and going through obstacles. So at that time, you may not even consider about life balance or the importance of having an amazing life, enjoying life so to speak and versus working hard to get financial freedom so i was speaking to a personal level when i started my investment journey um i i i i really had to put both into perspective you know i used to kind of go out everything every almost every single day with friends and families and weekends we go out restaurants clubbing and all that sort of thing and sometimes i go out weekends go away and versus wanting to succeed, wanting to learn how I could grow myself, um, become an entrepreneur, try to learn how to make money work for me in instead of working for people. So I had this dilemma which one to choose. Obviously having comfortable life, going out with friends and family, partying, doing all that thing. Well, it was, it was really, really good. But um, also I'm thinking, okay, if I want to do that, I may not be able to do both of them at the same time. So when I was starting, I realized that I needed to sacrifice one thing, not fully sacrifice it, but, but concentrate maybe about 80 to 90% of my time to do one of the things. So I sat down and I realized in order for me to have a fulfilled life, enjoyable life, maybe I want to sacrifice going out with friends and family in a regular basis now so I can invest that time to build myself up, develop myself up, learn about finances, learn about businesses and in fact learn about properties as well. So I decided to go for this option where I can develop myself, learn a lot about how, how, how I can be financially free in order to allow me to live that life. I wanted to leave then. So I went focused full on that, learning, learning, didn't have time to go out with friends. I stopped going to parties, I stopped going to clubbings and I stopped hanging around with people that do not really, really add value to me. So I sacrificed that. Here's the thing, it's up to you to be able to make that decision yourself, to be honest. For me, I cannot multitask. I cannot do things the same time because what I realized when I met my friends, I spent about two to three hours with them, which to be honest, I could have spent to develop myself or maybe networking with people that can, that can bring value to me. So I end up using those time to value myself instead of maybe going up and hanging around with friends. So what then what that triggers me then to do is to is to is to, is to create a budget which will then allow me to allocate funds for investment. So the funds I used to spend when I go out, because I used to spend about 100 to 200 pounds when I go out. So I use that funds and I start saving those, saving those funds. So I save those funds so that I can then use those funds to start improving myself or to start investing in, me, in, in myself or to start investing in opportunities. So I, I, I kept doing that and then looking at my expenses, looking at what I need to do or what, how I need to spend my expenses before I expend it. That then takes me nicely to talk about value-based spending. So what I was doing basically, when I want to spend money, I look at the aspect I want to spend the money on. Do I need to spend this money on this? Is this thing adding any value in me? Or is it actually taking money away from me? For example, what I was thinking, um, I, I was thinking about um, to subscribe in uh, watching football because I love football back in the day and I still do love 
about football, by the way. I was thinking, okay, if I subscribe to watching Sky Football, back then it, w it was Sky Football, I don't know which channel shows football now, but um, I sacrifice, I look at it, sacrificing that sort of subscription about 30 to 34 pounds back then to watching football, right? And uh, what I gained from it versus what I could do with that. So what I've learned from that is, I'm not just spending the 34 pounds every single month. What I've realized was I was also spending my time, right? So if you watch football, football games is about 90 to 95 minutes or maybe 100 minutes. So what, I'm, what I realized, was I wasn't just losing money from that perspective and I'm also losing valuable time that I could have used to look at my investment. Is that making sense? Or to develop myself, okay? So I looked at it, I realized, okay, that sort of investment, maybe it's not adding value to me. I'm not just losing financial times, I'm also losing time. So I, ret I retract from doing that. I retract from, from um, doing that. But because I love football, I did not win myself out of it all in one go. So what I did basically, I only watched the big games. And But instead of having a Sky subscription, I started watching the football games in the pubs. Because in the pubs, I enjoy the football more, I socialize with people, and I'm not losing financials as well. And I start to win myself from that slowly as well, and then I end up watching match of the day. So I still, until today, watch match of the day, match of the day doesn't cost me a lot of time and, and effort what I do I, I love my team the football team I, I, I root for I understand when their games are on go on match of the day spend about 10-15 minutes watch it and I know what the what the results are and I move on to doing something else and I also looked at going on holidays for example I looked at okay if I go on holiday how much do I spend I spent about two to three thousand pounds back then I'm thinking okay if I if I can, if I'm spending two to three thousand pounds going on holiday um, brilliant if I had the money, but I realized, okay, if instead of spending that money to go on holiday right now, can I use that same money to start investing? And what that investment could get me. So I look at if I go on holiday, obviously I've got three, 10 to 15, maybe I think if I'm lucky, 10 days, holiday, I spend 3,000 pounds and come back, maybe broke, start working again. And I look at it that way, I said, okay, now what I could do, for now, I'm gonna delay going that holiday. I'm gonna delay going that holiday. I will use that two, 3,000 pounds and start investing in properties. So what I then did, I used the same money I start securing my own properties. So I was looking for properties that can secure on a rental rent basis, purchase lease option deals, as well as properties that I can actually buy from deal sources. So those properties then start generating me income instead of using that money going on holiday that would not generate me any, anything. So I hope this is making sense. That's what I looked at between those two um, uh, variables. And then obviously then I then I then look at going on holiday still. But what, what I what I do when I when I wanted to go on holiday, I go holiday when it is off peak time. What do I mean by off-peak? Off-peak is when the schools are on, when colleges are on, when universities are on, because at that time, all the holidays are in discounted rates. So what I do then, I booked it in advance, okay? Get the discount I wanted, and then whilst investing some of the money in whatever I wanna invest it on, and then I go on holiday, less people, less crowd, amazing food, I can go to wherever I wanna go quickly and come back without queuing up or, or getting stuck in traffic. So I was able to kind of do it that way. And again, it was reasonable to go on holiday in that sort of way. I looked at another expense. So um, what I've learned at an early stage also, this may blow your mind away. Ready for it, okay? Um, uh, I was one of those guys um, uh, who, who literally go out, as I said, all the time. And I realized that if you haven't got a girlfriend, you spend a lot, lot more money because obviously you'll be going and dating, 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 and up on dating. So what I, what, I, what I did at that point, instead of having to go on date all the time or hanging around with, with different people all the time, I invested in relationship to ensure that I, have, I am in a good relationship that will distract me from going out every single day or every weekend, basically. So I invested lots of time on that. And then obviously um, I maintain my, my financial goals and um, uh, having someone who we've got the same sort of mindset who, who pushed me 
to get me to where I want to go. So I set my mind in my goal, um, um, stay to it, um, looking at my goals, allocating funds to my investment strategies because I, back then I was doing rent to rent and rent to service accommodation. So whatever money I get, I reinvest it in the business. Whatever I get, I reinvest it in the business. I did not go on an expensive holiday. I did not go on buying expensive cars or moving to an expensive house. So once I've done that, I did that for about three to five years. And then once I start making good enough passive income, and then guess what? I bring in the life balance. I bring in then um, balancing wealth building with joyful experience because now I know I'm, I, I don't have to work in order to make money. I know I'm making enough money in order to do whatever I want to do. Now I can go holiday the time and place I want to. I can spend time with whoever I want to spend time with. I don't have to worry about a manager giving me time limit to go on holiday. I can spend time. I can go wherever I want to go and I, I, can, I, I can do what I want to do at the time I want to do it. But what I did at the beginning, I sacrificed that first and invested in me and invested in businesses that would allow me to absolutely do what I want to do now and and today touch base I would never have to work for anybody else until I literally leave planet earth so um, I can go on holiday wherever I want to go I can book a hotel whichever hotel I want to book a book to go on holiday and I don't have to worry about the finances because I'm making enough more than enough passive income to allow me to do what I want to do so again it's about you thinking what do you want to what do you want to prioritize first for me to be honest my experience I prioritize making money passive income recurring income over the enjoyable lifetime for the short term. So I delayed the gratification significantly in order to be able to live the comfortable life I'm living now to be a successful entrepreneur. So look at these scenarios and say which one works for you. Whatever works for you, do it. But what I would advise you to do is to do the latter part. Invest in yourself, invest in making passive income, speak to your partners, your husband, your boyfriend, your, your girlfriend, whoever your partner may be or your parent, Tell them what your objectives are, cut back in some certain things until you start making enough passive income. Then you can live whatever life you want to live. It could be your dream life. It could be a life that you've always and always dreamed of. So I really hope this video has been helpful. If this video has been helpful, hit the like button below. Subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. I look forward to sharing in the next video. Thank you for listening.